Member for Massachusetts. Thank you very much, Speaker. It's a pleasure to rise uh, to recognize Repetitive Strain Injury Awareness Day. It's been 16 years since Ontario first recognized Repetitive Strain Awareness Day. In Ontario, approximately 40 percent of all lost time injury claims at the WSIB are as a result of repetitive strain injuries or musculoskeletal disease, and we still certainly have a way to go. Speaker, I want to give members of the Legislature a little bit of a preview, a day, a window into the day of the life of somebody who has an, a repetitive strain injury. I want to share with you parts of a letter sent to me from Catherine Fenn who is uh, the founder of the International Predator Strain Awareness Day. Catherine says, an injury stays with you 24-7. It doesn't end when work is over. A typical day can easily get derailed by pain or depression that makes it difficult to accomplish anything. She says she usually doesn't get up until mid-morning. She struggles all night to sleep. When she finally drags herself out of bed, she's groggy from not having slept and stiff all day. Uh, these days, uh, she says she hopes she doesn't sh it doesn't snow because she struggles with shoveling. She can't afford to pay for help, so she usually just struggles to get the minimum done and then pay, pays the price in pain later. Uh, she says her house is a mess. She can't keep up with projects that are undone. WSIB was a nightmare to deal with, and the system has gotten worse. It took five years for them to recognize her injury. She doesn't know if she can deal with the stress of continuing to pursue WSIB again for very little benefits, and there's always the downside risk that they'll take away more benefits. She'd love to go back to work, but they won't provide proper ergonomic uh, environment for her to work in. Psychologically, she is a mess. She can't deal with the battles that she continues to have with WSIB and her employers to accommodate uh, her, her injury. The stress of having no money, chronic pain, sleeplessness, and having to fight for what's right has left her unable to concentrate and focus. She struggles each and every day. Speaker, this is emblematic, symptomatic of a failure of this government to actually do anything when it comes to specifically repetitive strain injury, something that's all too common in our workplaces, but more broadly, injured workers in general when they have to deal with the WSIB. It's all good to dedicate a day, and I'm sure we all understand the challenges that people face, face with uh, workplace injuries, but my goodness, let's do something. Put our efforts forward, ensure that WSIB actually functions as it should and was, was designed to, to compensate workers when they are injured on the job, not to ostracize them, not to marginalize them, not, you know, to actually help them get back to work in a proactive way to support them and their families so that they can be functional members of the society. The system is broken. The Liberals have destroyed it over the past decade. It's not getting any better. And if you don't do anything soon, Speaker, you're going to have to have an RSI day every day because the front lawn of the legislature will be jam-packed with injured workers who are demanding justice. Thank you very much, Speaker.